Hello, Aquarius. So this will be what is coming towards you in 2023. Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. I thank you for tuning into my channel. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive into these messages and see what clear messages Spirit of Love and Light has for you at this time. Okay, Spirit of Love and Light, Truth and Clarity, what messages do you have for the sign of Aquarius for 2023? What messages do you have for the sign of Aquarius for 2023? Oh, there we go. A personal issue re reaches resolution. You guys have success coming, but your issue here is, is not to get discouraged because of any obstacles or challenges you've been uh, facing. And then also it's like, just relax, put your trust in the universe, put your trust and your confidence into the universe, knowing that they have your back. It's like to be uh, confident and self-assured that whatever you guys are wishing, you're praying for it to happen. It's like, whatever you're doing, whatever you guys are aiming for success wise, you're looking to have success in a particular area. It's like, make sure you're taking the lead on it, but also it's like your confidence is your key as well because you guys have confidence is your key to success, just like Capricorn. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn or you have Capricorn placements. There also is Cancer here as well. Now, I'm also getting, it's like, uh, for some of you guys, when it comes to relationship, some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo too. We have Leo here as well. Some of you guys could be having an issue with a particular person right now, this current moment. It's like you guys are indifferent. It's like, it's a difference of opinions, whatever. Um, but you guys still, it's like you think of this person, they're thinking of you. Because I'm getting you guys mirroring each other. So it's like when you're thinking of them, they're thinking of you, vice versa. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with the Leo here. And this person is about to see like you in a whole new zone, like a whole new attitude. It's like y'all are feeling on point. You feeling like y'all are, it's like your confidence has like cranked up a couple of notches, not just a couple, but it's attracting this person. And it's like they want to bring peace to this situation. They don't want to be, it's like not why you in this energy. They at least want to be a part of what you got going on. Some of you guys, this is friends. It's like you guys, they're seeing you successful. They're seeing you in like this whole new confident, no bullshit energy. And it's like you're at peace with where you are. It's like internally, you're not seeking anyone's advice. You're not seeking anyone to anyone's approval of you anymore. It's like you feel very confident and self-assured of who you are. It's like you're confident with being your true authentic self. You guys have found who you are. And it's like, it's allowing whatever obstacles you are facing, it's allowing you to face them head on very confidently as well. And you're just charging right through them. Because I'm seeing like a lot of success and uh, prosperity coming in for you guys. But you're being asked to remain like confident and assured that something is going to happen. Whatever you want to happen, if you remain positive about it, it's going to come through for you. Putting your trust in the universe. Not allowing your mind to play tricks on you is what I'm getting. Let's see, Spirit of Love and Light, Truth and Clarity. What other messages do you have for Aquarius for 2023? What other messages do you have for Aquarius for 2023? 
you guys aren't tripping off something no more. Yeah. You know what? Y'all not tripping off anybody offering you any type of love. I'm saying you guys have found your happiness all on your own. I'm, I'm like strongly getting you feel complete all on your own. Like I can do bad all by my damn self, but y'all not doing bad at all because you happy as hell, whatever you doing. And this person seeing you because it's a major change that's taking place in your life and it's about to make you really happy. Because I'm saying here, it's like you're no longer like stressing over a particular situation. And you definitely not stressing over what's not working out for you. It's like you are just like making your own happiness. But I'm saying here, it's like you're really happy. By you not tripping off someone offering you something, it's going to make this person come towards you. You're not worried about this person anymore. It's like you're happy all on your own. And now this person wants to come towards you because they see you doing very well. Yeah, you guys are getting unstuck from a particular situation, something that did not make you happy. Here. Yeah, if someone here is like, they never, it's like, it's the same BS with this person. It's nonstop. The same BS. And it's like, this is someone that you saw as a true love. You did see this person as a true love here. But at the same point, they weren't willing to give you what you deserved. So it's like, you found your happiness all on your own. I'm definitely sensing it's like, you guys um, walking away from the situation and it's like, you walking away allows you to come out on top because I'm definitely seeing you getting your power back and like fully in this power zone here. And like this person's like, wait a second, wait a second. They not tripping off me no more. I got to do something about this. Yeah, because you guys are definitely like, this ain't working. This ain't working, but I'm definitely seeing it's like you guys end up attracting a soulmate here. It's like you definitely have someone that comes in. And I'm, cause I'm, it, it's like, but when they come in, you guys are in like this phase where it's like, you're not tripping off anything. You're not tripping off working, like putting in no effort towards no relationship here. But whoever's coming towards you, this is, like the real deal coming in for you with the knight of swords here and the two of cups this is the real deal coming towards you this is someone who's going to change i mean not not just it's like this is a significant change this person is about to bring into your life but i'm saying y'all being like cold as hell with this person but same point it's like they're strong enough to take it they're strong enough to take it. They know they got to come towards you suited up. <laughs> like prepared to take some um, lashes, whatever. Will of Fortune reverse and the chariot. Yeah, and the emperor. So you guys definitely have taken back your power, taken back your control over a particular situation that wasn't going anywhere. It wasn't going anywhere. It's like... You decided to finally stop looking at someone a particular way. Like this is like y'all could have been looking at someone like they were your soulmate, your twin flame. And over a matter of, uh, it was just a matter of time before this person came, come, comes back towards you. And it, they will end up coming back towards you, but you're not going to trip off them when they do. You're not going to be tripping off them when they do. Because y'all have someone much better coming in for you. And you don't want to miss this opportunity. This person that's coming in towards you. Because you guys were dealing with the night before. And now you're about to be dealing with the emperor. And this person is ready to move mountains for you. It's like they don't care what the hell is in their way. They're going to bust right through it. Okay. Let's get a couple of more messages.
messages, Spirit of Love and Light, Truth and Clarity. What other messages do you have for the sign of Aquarius? What else do they know that's coming towards them in 2023? Give me clear messages, Spirit, please and thank you. I thank you so much. What messages do you have for Aquarius coming into 2023? Yeah, you know what? Oh, whatever y'all been concerned about, you got message of concern in reverse and poverty in reverse. If you guys have been stressing over, some of y'all been stressing over bills, you've been stressing over your finances. In 2023, that will no longer be an issue for you because there's a major change. It's like that part of that time in your life with the number 10 here as well, that is coming to an end. There is a new beginning that is taking place for you coming 2023. You guys won't be stressing over bills coming to you in emails or through, it's like getting mails that something is past due, something is delinquent here. Um, stressing over robbing Peter to pay Paul. It's like that's, those days are long gone. You guys are moving towards something better here. It's like you're not going to be stressing over that. So if you guys have been stressing over your finances, I'm seeing you guys getting your credit in order, having the finances to pay off anything that you owe. And in order to get your finances in order to move to a better place in your life financially. Okay. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages? Give me messages regarding love. What love messages would you like to give for uh, Aquarius for 2023? Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. Please and thank you. Give me clear messages for Aquarius regarding love in 2023. Very soon. Finances and career. Some of you guys are definitely, it's like right now your finances are not... That, that needs to be your main priority right now. If you guys need to be taking action towards something in particular, you guys need to be changing up your job. What is it? But I'm definitely saying like 2023 financially is looking good towards you. Some of you guys need to be putting more effort towards something because it's not just going to magically happen. I mean, given somebody can win the lottery, but... You guys need to be putting forth effort. Don't just expect something to magically appear. Because I'm getting like right now, what's blocking your love is your finances, okay? But there's someone coming towards you very soon. A soulmate connection that is coming towards you very soon. But you just need to work out these finances first. That needs to be your main priority. Focus on what you need. And if you have your finances in order, I'm getting some of you guys. It's like when this person comes towards you, your main priority is because, whoop, there it is. Okay, when this person comes towards you, your main priority is, is not just, it's not balancing out. Your finances are looking good come 2023. And matter of fact, things are going so well, you ain't tripping off love. And boom, this person comes. It's like they come very soon. While you're in the midst of like putting work towards, it's like you're enjoying where you are financially and you continue to put work towards that. Some of y'all are so busy with your work and career. It's like you don't have time for love, but here they are. And it always comes when you're not worried about it. I'm definitely, it's like I'm definitely seeing for some of y'all meeting someone at a party, at a social event. This is like someone on high status because your status in life is changing as well. Like some of y'all, if y'all do like YouTube or you do something social media, it's like getting invited to a big type of party. X, yeah. You guys are definitely, it's like whatever pattern there was in the past or you guys are separating from someone, you're no lo longer expecting someone to, it's like your feelings for someone has changed. You're looking at them, you're looking at them differently now, but you're definitely cutting someone off here. And after that, it's like you're welcoming new love. You're meeting the one right after you cut this person off. So it's like by you cutting this person off, 
you allow the right person to come through. And the person that you're cutting off is someone who was wearing a mask. They did have emotions for you. But the same point, them playing games. Let me move this back because it's shaking that. I'm sorry about that. Them playing games with you. It's like, who has time for it? Who has time for it? So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you. If this reading resonates, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a message, uh, not a message, a comment if this reading resonates. You all have a blessed new year. I will see you all. Thank you.